The next two problems on tonight's homework ask us to graph, or without graphing, tell whether the point is on the graph. And so what we're going to end up doing is just taking the x value, and so this term right here, and the y value, and substituting. So let's do that. Let's take the 0, which is x, and we just put it in for x. We take the 1 half, which is y, and we put it in for y. So if we want to tell whether the point is on the graph, that's when we substitute and see if it does equal or not. So we go ahead and rewrite it. It's 3 times by the x value, which is 0, plus 2 times by the y value, which is 1 half, and we see if it equals 1. So we go ahead and do some work there. This makes 0, and 2 times by a half, these 2's cancel out, and they make 1. Well, it just so happens 1 does equal 1. So we would say yes, that point is on the line. Another example is this one, and again we have our x value. We just put that in place of x. We have the y value, we put that in place of y, and we see if that point is on the line. So let's rewrite what we've got. 2 thirds times by x, which is 6, I'll write that as a fraction, 6 over 1 equals, and then we've got one-third times by y, which is 18 over 1. And then from there, we just bring down that minus 2. And we do some work there. So the 3 goes into that 6. We have 2 times. Multiply across, you get 4. And then bring down that equal sign. Do the same thing here. 3 goes into 18 6 times. Multiply across, we get 6. So 6 minus 2. Well, 6 minus 2 is 4, so sure enough, 4 does equal 4. So we get two yeses. So both of those points are on the line that was given to us. Well, the other set of directions is going to ask us to write an equation. Whenever we're going to write an equation, remember you're using this formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. It's called the point-slope formula. But then it's going to ask us to put it into slope-intercept form, which is when we solve for this y here. And so in order to use this formula, we need to have the slope. We've got two points. All we need is one point, but we need the slope. So in order to find the slope, we do need both of these points. We're going to use this formula, y minus y1 over x minus x1. So we'll take our point. One of the points, we'll start with this one here, 8, and take away the 6. So I'm taking these two values away. Remember, those are the two y values. Then down below, we'll do the same thing with the 7s. So 7 minus negative 7. And we go ahead and add the opposites there. So add the opposite, add the opposite, and see what we've got left. Well, what we have here is 8 minus 6 makes 2, 7 and 7 make 14. And that reduces down to 1 over 7. So what I did there is I divided each of those by 2. So that's the slope. Now let's take that slope. And we're going to take one of the two points. I'll pick this point right here. And we're going to put it into that point slope formula. So remember it goes y minus y1. Well, our y1 value will be 8. Equals the slope, 1 7th, times by x minus, and then the x value, 7. And so we go ahead and do some work there. And we can distribute that 1 7th over both of those numbers and see what we get left. And so what we have is a y minus 8 equals, and then we have that 1 7th x. And then off to the side, you might write down 1 7th times by negative 7 over 1. Well, those 7s cancel out, leaving us just with negative 1. 1 times that, that by that negative 1 gives us a negative 1. So all you have is that final step of adding 8 to both sides. So add 8 to the negative 1, and they are opposite in sign, so we are going to subtract. So we're left with y equals 1 7th x plus 7. Now there's one answer. Let's take a look at one more example here. Here we can find the slope again. And the slope is when we take the difference of these y values. So 27 minus 12. 
that's on top of the fraction. And then we do the same thing with the x values. So we start with the 1, and we take away negative 2. So we go ahead and do some work there. Minus negative makes a plus positive. Do some subtraction, and we're left with 15 over 3, which reduces down to 5 over 1, which is just 5. And so we take that slope, we take one of these points, I'm going to take 127, and we substitute them into that point slope formula. So remember it goes y minus y1. So y minus 27 equals the slope, which is 5 times by x minus 1. Well, from there we go ahead and d distribute that 5 over the x minus 1. So we go ahead and do that. We got y minus 27 equals, and then I've got 5x minus 5. From that point all I have to do is add that 27 to both sides. So when I do that, I have opposite signs, so it forces me to subtract. So I'm subtracting those numbers, I'm left with y equals 5x, and then plus 22. And there is our answer. So those are some of the examples, problems that you'll end up having to encounter on tonight's homework.